Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn. Today and in the next few videos we will talk about ordinary least square method commonly known as OLS method and the loss function. Also we will try to give you the explanation on the mathematical notation so that you feel comfortable reading other machine learning articles and books. Most machine learning author, uh, books authors takes it for granted that you already understand these mathematical jargons, which often is not the case. Hence, we will try to simplify those mathematical notations for you along with examples. So first, let's see how data is represented and how it looks like mathematically. It should then give you a good feel about it. Okay, so you are already familiar with this data set here and if you look at the very first record here and if we have to write it in a linear combination of all these columns uh, and uh, the, in, in terms of the sales then we can write something like this um, m1 times 230 I'm just uh, rounding off the decimal values here plus m2 times 38 plus m3 times m3 times 69 plus some error which we are not sure about and this will be equal to say 22 and this is equation 1 similarly for record number 2 we can have same expression so m1 45 plus m2 times 39 plus m3 times 45 some error equal to 10 equation this is equation 2 and so on we can create all the expressions here based on how many records we have so in this case we have 200 records so we will basically create 200 such linear simultaneous equations okay so now you know that we have seen that there are 200 uh, linear simultaneous equation that we have to solve and if we somehow write this in a matrix form uh, it would look something like this so i have a big matrix here right i have the tv uh, I have the radio and i have the newspaper right so i have 230 then have 38 then have 69 then have 45 then have 39 then have 45 and so on right the fifth record is 181 11 58 and so on up to 200 records we have so this will be basically 200 by 3 matrix right at this point of time and this is then multiplied by a vector which will be represented as a row vector so we have m1 m2 m3 and typically you'll see this notation transpose because we have to remember we, for matrix multiplication we have to match this uh, these two factors here has to match for multiplication and then we have this some error right now further we can optimize this and it should look like this okay so this big matrix can be then written as a big x okay and uh, you must have noticed that this factor can be xm to the transpose t plus some error values now this m in most of the textbook you will see it looks either like beta transpose or it looks like x omega transpose see the main intention here is okay we should be able to multiply this to this matrix with this vector so when you are reading the you know new articles or machine learning book don't get too confused with this transpose term and anything like this just read that you know it's just a multiplication which is a basic concept right so don't get overwhelmed with uh, you know all this uh, setup here okay so just understand that we are just trying to multiply each of these columns with its weight vector and this is called as weight vectors right and that is why sometimes you'll see an omega or a beta or m it should not bother you okay all right so 
once this is done that means my expression y is equal to you know the predicted value should be my feature vectors multiplied with my omega oops sorry with my omega t plus some error vector now what happens is it's a good idea to somehow include this error vector within this same matrix so what we are going to do is what we are going to do is basically you've seen that matrix right where we have all the three columns so tv radio newspaper so basically we are also going to include one 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 for all the records and in the weight vectors where we had m1 m2 m3 we can have this epsilon so it, then it then we can then update this simply like like this or like this right so represent whatever way you are comfortable okay because then eventually this factor gets multiplied and added with each and every line okay so i hope this gives you a very simple explanation to why this you know confusing looking uh, mathematical notation are represented this way but then once you get familiar with this you know you'll get an idea that it's nothing more than just a matrix multiplication with the vector and why is the transpose term because we need to make sure that the number of the dimension matches for the multiplication to actually happen right as simple as that so if you need more information on this please check our vectors and matrix uh, lectures at the very start of the math for machine learning playlist in our channel okay so thanks for watching and i hope you have learned something new today stay tuned for more videos and more explanation have a great day